hey guys welcome back to my channel so we're going to be talking about shoes once again so i thought it'd be fun to like find problems that people have with ego shoes and like try to explain it because i have not had many problems or see what you're doing wrong because a lot of the time it'd be on our hand and not on like not the um company seriously like and I know people around the world all have issues, so obviously I'm not saying it's like just our problem. But y'all will see what I'm talking about. So let's just get right into this video. So first of all, let me just admire my beautiful heel, please. The green. It's just so beautiful. Like this is a gorgeous heel. You don't like if, if you don't have this heel, you need to go get it. I also got this in white. I definitely recommend this heel for going going out. Look at this. Like, it's just, nothing should be this beautiful, but it is. And then I didn't even think about like how silky this part is right here. It's a gorgeous hill, y'all. Oh, then I got my good old friend, my white tie-up um, sandals. So pretty. These are gorgeous shoes. Like I said, when I talked about my, my and when I talked about the shoes, when I talked about the shoes. I always talk about how beautiful these are because of the because of the block hill, y'all. It's so pretty. So let's so, talk about the ordering. When you order from Ego Shoes, um, I, I I imagine it's like your first time. I'm gonna talk about first time buyers. When I was a first time buyer, I'm a pro at this now. So I know the length. I know like how where it's at. I know everything about the shoes and the company. Like, this was a brand that I found on Instagram, just like Pretty Little Thing. And I should, I'm going to do a video about that, too, because that's a good one. And it's like, when you find stuff on Instagram, you don't know where it's at because you don't see it's in America. So, you get curious and worried about your stuff when you order from overseas. When I ordered from here... I had high expectations. I was actually worried. I don't know. I was looking in the mail, looking for my track every day. And it took a while. Like, one thing, when I said the length of the order and the date of the arrival, that's what we're going to talk about. These shoes take a while to get here. For some reason, they took they took really long the first couple times. But now they get here really quick. I saw somebody in a, um, who wrote a review said their shoes came and, like, three days i'm like where you must live in the country because these are based in the uk this is where the company is they must be um in that country because i'm in the states and these things take about like 18 to 20 days to get over they there. take a while because they're overseas which is normal i expect it now when i order for pretty little thing it's the same thing it take a while to get here so yeah, the length of the order is really what gets people because they, and then when they don't get here, that's when people write reviews about it. But you gotta understand that when you order it from over or overseas, it takes longer. Pretty little things take a while too, but let me stop because I gotta get into a video with that one. These things take about like 16 to 18 days to get here and it sucks because you're waiting for your shoes like, please just get here. Oh my God, I wanna go out, I wanna go out. I wanna have a graduation, I need shoes. So I ordered things before my graduation, but they gonna be here the day after or you could just obviously pay um extra shipping but i never play i never pay for like more shipping it's just too expensive especially from like overseas but it's not fair they're so but, cute when they get here though that's a good thing they're so cute so the next problem i read when i was reading some reviews about this shoe is that somebody said they was hard to walk in and they bought five pairs and they tried to i think they wanted to return them but they didn't know how so they got annoyed and wrote this review <laughs> what <laughs> what first of all if this is your because they think they said i believe she said that this was her first time ordering first of all don't buy five pairs of shoes you need to buy one pair of shoes practice walking actually you need to buy some heels where you're at where you're located you can buy some cheap pair of shoes practice walking in them and then order especially because they take a while to know where you live who buys five pairs of shoes complain that they hurt the walk in because they heels but she says she just can't walk in heels then why would you write this for me why would you write the review really lady like these sh shoes heels are hard to walk in in general i just don't get what's the point of like passion a company because that's what she did and it was a big power paragraph i just took some stuff from it bashing a company because you can't walk in heels and that's your problem you bought five pairs 
and now you're trying to I think they said it'll be longer to send them back. That's everything. It takes longer for everything to get sent back. If there's no, like, pop-up store, which they don't have, like, pop-up stores. I believe. If they had one in the UK, I need to move there. But I have not seen one. I did see a pretty little thing. Here we go, me getting um, off topic. I saw they had a pretty little thing in the UK. And I was like, what? And I believe they put one in California. I know I'm not crazy about that. There's some pop-up stores now. And uh, what pretty little thing. And I need to go because that's Don't buy five pairs of shoes your first time ordering from a company you don't know nothing about. And don't complain that they're hard to walk in just because you don't know how to walk in hills. Just break them in. You walk in them every day. Break them in. Go places. they go going to hurt, but eventually they'll stop hurting. That's all it is. And that's no problem. That's everything. So let's get into the next one, y'all. Someone said they couldn't get in touch with the company and they called the company a like, scam. This company is not a scam, y'all. This company is legit. It's just in another country. We think, what is this What is this thing about us? I wonder if they are American. They probably are American. Uh, the reason I'm saying that because people in America want to call everything a scam when they can't get in touch with somebody. I, can, I get in touch with this company when I like... Not emailed. I think I yeah, emailed because I was looking for my order. That was my first time ordering. I was like, "Where my stuff at?" And they sent me the um tracking code. I could track it and everything. And I saw a couple more reviews telling me they couldn't get tracking numbers. I knew where my stuff at was at all times. After the first time, like I said, it's always hard, a little iffy. You think it's a scam the first time, but it's not. But why call it a scam when you know it's a legit company? Like it's funny because I feel like I was the same way. I didn't call it a scam. I was just like, "Where my stuff at?" Same thing with Pretty Little Thing. I said the same thing. I was like, where my stuff at? <laughs> but obviously, it's coming from another country. It takes a while. You just have to wait and be patient. <laughs> Your stuff will get here. <laughs> it will get here. It seems like it won't, but it will. And then, the fun thing is that once you order from them, for like, just say after like two times, your stuff get here quicker. I think they must got our, even our addresses or something, because them things get here like this now. Like, my stuff take not even like a week and a half to get here. And it used to take like three weeks. And that's even better because I'm like, now I can get shoes quicker. I, ever since my second time ordering these shoes, my stuff get here super fast now. And I love it because I got to order some more shoes. But yeah, you can email them and call them. You know, customer service be iffy. So I, I, if you could get in touch, I would most likely blame customer service. That's what it is. P people be trying to um, contact headquarters. I never did that. Never had to do that. My stuff always get here. It's the same thing with Amazon. People always say like, they couldn't get in touch or like their stuff was bad, but I never had one thing bad from Amazon. And that's like, I'd be thinking like people who be saying that it's a scam. I'm like, I never had anything like messed up, broken, like never from Amazon. So yeah, where y'all be located? It is yeah, not a scam, it's legit and it's such a gorgeous company. I wish they had like stores, y'all. I would go crazy if they had a store in America. I'm moving, so I'm moving out this country soon anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Good thing is that I just got my passport, y'all. So I ain't gonna know how to act. I'm planning stuff. I'm already planning to go to grad school out of the country. Y'all, if I go to grad school in the UK, I can get shoes quicker. That's what I'm thinking about. These beautiful things can get to me quicker. I have to wait like a week and they'll be here. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't know how to act. Also, I'm also playing in Canada for school, so I'm wondering if they'll be quicker there, too. Or maybe not, because you gotta go to the right and up. Oh, well. No, That's just a God. couple of, like, issues I saw on, like, the reviews. The shoes are beautiful, though, seriously. I saw somebody else, I believe, they said they just, um, they didn't like the shoes. Oh, my God, like, how would you not like this? Everybody got their own taste. But why, just because you don't like them, why leave a crazy review about that? This is their brand. Why? I don't get why people leave reviews like that just because you don't like something. Like, you don't like the shoe, how they look. Or you just think I don't taste because these shoes are cute, so... Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that, y'all. Those are just a couple of issues I saw that people had. I absolutely love these shoes. I love all the styles. I've never seen styles like this. That's why I love it. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a quick little banter about what people had issues and what I love about them. So I don't really care. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.